What you guys got another video here for you on how to create a bootable Windows 11 USB installer for a, a PC that has unsupported hardware. Now, if you have an old computer that you want to run Windows 11 on, everyone knows by now that you can actually run Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. It just means that you're going to have to create a bootable USB flash drive to install that. And what this USB flash drive will do is allow you to install it uh, without having any sort of issues because it will have all of the things required to install it on unsupported hardware. So let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is get a piece of software. You can get this from Rufus's website. And what this is going to do is allow us to download uh, the Windows 11 ISO and create it for unsupported hardware. So let's go ahead and get this. So I'm going to come down here to the download section. And you can see here, there's a bunch of different options available for us. I'm going to be choosing the portable version here. So let's go ahead and click on this version here. This means that it's not going to be installed on the PC. It's going to run as a portable application. Next up, you're going to need to make sure you've got a USB flash drive. You can pick these up pretty cheap nowadays. Make sure you get something around about 16 gigabytes or more. And we should be good enough to go once we get one of those. Okay, so let's click on the application which we've just downloaded, which is our Rufus portable version. So click on this one, and this will open up Rufus. Now, once Rufus is open, you should see Rufus update policy. You can see here. Now, you can click no here if you don't want to update, but I'm going to just quickly say yes here. And then the Rufus portable version will open. The device is a USB flash drive. Here you can see I've got a 32 gigabyte USB flash drive. And just below that, we have our boot selection. And this is for our disk or ISO image just here. Now, what we're going to do is download the ISO here. So we can see on the select section here, there's a little arrow that points down. And this is the area where we need to click on. So click on the little point down arrow here and select download. This will change the button to download. And we can now click on this button here. And this will open up. Uh, the application where we can download our ISO image. So you should see something looking like this, which says download ISO image version, and you can choose what version you want to use. We're going to be going for Windows 11 here. Click on continue. And now you should see uh, the release. Now, if you're watching this video sometime in the future, there may be more releases here. But as you can see, there's only one at the moment. So I'm going to click on this one and click continue. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step, which is addition. You can see here the addition is for Windows 11 Home, Pro and Education. That's by default. So we can leave that as is and click continue. And we should now have language. This is where you can choose what version of language you want. I'm going to leave this on English International. But there is some other options available there. Once we've done this, we can click continue. And we should see the architecture, which is x64. And you can even download this via using your browser. But I'm going to leave that unticked and click on download. Now we need to download our ISO and put it into a location. I'm going to leave this in the download section, I'm leaving this as win11 underscore English International underscore x64 dot ISO. You can name it whatever you like. I'm just going to leave that as the default and click save. And this will then start the download process, as you can see here. This will take a bit of time, so be patient. I'll speed this process up. Depending on the speed of your internet will determine how fast this downloads the ISO image. Okay, that ISO has now been downloaded. You can now see the boot selection is Windows 11 underscore English International underscore X64 ISO, which is what we've just downloaded. We can now use the image option here. Now, this image option is okay if you have a brand new computer that supports TPM 2.0 plus secure boot but if you have unsupported hardware then you will need to change this option to the unsupported hardware option so let's go ahead and do that right now because we're doing this for unsupported hardware but you can leave that option available if you have supported hardware so this ex extended version windows 11 installation no tpm and no secure boot this is for unsupported hardware and this is the option that you'll need to select if you have an older computer. Partition scheme needs to be GPT and also target support needs to be UEFI and non-CSM. 
right here. Format options, this will be your volume label here. I'm leaving this as default and file system needs to be NTFS and everything else can stay as is and we can click start when we're ready. This will uh, erase everything on that USB flash drive. So if you do have information on that USB flash drive, then you may want to quit out here and back that up before you continue because it will destroy all the information on that USB flash drive by installing Windows 11. Now this does take a bit of time, so be patient. It's gonna build our USB flash drive for us, and it's also going to remove the parts that will stop it working with unsupported hardware. As you can see here on the screen, removing Windows 11 installation restrictions. It will remove those and get your USB flash drive ready for installing it onto unsupported hardware. Now remember, if you have a new computer and you want to build yourself a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 11 for supported hardware, you can use the other option or you can use Windows own uh, media creation tool to build your USB flash drives. So you can see here we can click on close now and basically you could take that over to a computer that is old and not supported for Windows 11 and go ahead and boot to that device and you will be able to install Windows 11 with no problems at all and no restrictions on that old computer. Now, before you go ahead and start formatting your computer and installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, Microsoft have said that they will block uh, security updates and other features for people that are running old hardware with Windows 11 on it. Now, they haven't done it as of yet, and you can still use Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, and you can still get all of the security updates and updates from Microsoft but they can close that window at any time and they have said they will do it. So whether they continue out their threats, I really don't know, but that's your risk you have to take if you are using a computer with unsupported hardware with Windows 11. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.